Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I am just programming the sat-nav for the docks. I know where I'm going, but I like to have an ETA in case I hit any traffic. But at quarter past five this morning, I'm not expecting any. Due to be having a box taken off between six and seven, ETA down there is ten past six. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking. <laughs> Just got into the transfer area, transfer area one. Um, yeah, it's a 20 foot box on to come off, and they uh, don't take them off in the empty park. You have to come into the transfer area. So, yeah, just getting down to the slot allocation point. It's not as busy as I thought it was going to be down here for a Monday morning. Where are we going to go? Thirty-six. Get this IPL come out. What bay did I say? Thirty-six. It was, wasn't it? Get the twist locks done. There we go. Oh, that sun's bright. Now I've just got to sit here, box to come off, and uh, no box to go on, so straight back to the yard after that. going on with that straddler he couldn't seem to hook onto the container to get it taken off so I guess he radioed through to a different one and they came over and loaded it eventually but there was a truck waiting to get into the bay that I was using despite the fact that there's loads of empty bays down there but that's Southampton docks for you it's not always the most organized place in the world now heading back to the yard gonna be there in about 20 minutes got some stuff to do in the yard get another container unloaded and ready to go back to the docks and I've got to get two curtain siders loaded as well so yeah go back speak nicely to the warehouse guys and uh, find out where they want the trailers and we'll get that done just left the yard and I'm going to somewhere which some people might think is quite exciting I guess uh, I'm off to a football stadium in Manchester Apparently it's where Man City play. Don't know, not a football fan. So, yeah, apparently they're quite a good team. They seem to have won some trophies and stuff this year. So, yeah, they must be pretty good. But don't quote me on that, I don't know. 
but yeah, I'm uh, delivering some new screens that go around the edge of the pitch. I guess they're used for advertising. Maybe I could get them to put my logo on one for a little while during a match. Probably won't do. Um, yeah, gotta go up parking uh, Lim tonight. ETA up there is four o'clock. And then from Lim, according to the sat-nav in the morning, it's about a 40 minute drive. And I've got to be there for 9 a.m. So yeah, what's that? Leave Lim around half past seven to allow for traffic. Be there a little bit early. But yeah, not being a football fan, I'm still quite excited though to be delivering to a football stadium. <laughs> of the M6 now. Got a mile to go until I get to Lim for the night. Loads of traffic, even on the M6 toll road, which is unusual. And the M6 only had a 10 minute delay on it, so I don't know why the M6 toll road was as busy as it was. M6 is getting busy now, but further up than what I'm going, which is handy. Let's go over a lane. Oh car there, wait for him, then go around the roundabout, but yeah, just about ready to park up for the night. Satnav says it's about 40 minutes from here in the morning to get to the delivery site at the uh, football stadium, so yeah, we need to be there for 9 o'clock, there's going to be rush hour traffic, so I need to leave half past 7, quarter to 8 at the latest to hopefully miss that traffic because there's going to be traffic I'm sure plus I've got to find exactly where it is that I'm going to so yeah that would be pretty much me done for the day <laughs> On the M56, not as much traffic as I thought there was going to be, but yeah, it's fine. ETA 20 past eight, but as I said, when I get there, I need to find exactly where it is that I'm going to. I'm supposed to be going to gate 11, according to the paperwork, so whereabouts that is, I don't know. Not been here before, so hopefully it's signposted. Oh look, there's the traffic I was expecting. But, yeah. Looks like we're going over this way anyway, so let's follow the sat nav. Google Maps has taken me in this way as well, so traffic wise, it's the quickest way to go. I can carry on and go around, to, I think it's to the, around the M60 to the A57, but. Yeah, the uh, sat nav and Google Maps seem to know what they're doing. That traffic cost me a fair bit of time, about 25 minutes, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I knew there was going to be traffic, so yeah. Still got a mile and a half to go. Keep seeing signs saying follow signs for the football one but I've not seen any so I can't follow them I appear to be on some tram lines other people seem to be here so it must be alright there it is Gate 11 and 12. Gate 11, just there, perfect. Here we go. 
got to stop here and go sign in at security and find out where we're going. So, we're in. Let's get that window done up. Got to go round to K Gate, which is the other side of the stadium, apparently. I thought they'd have like a service area where we were going to get unloaded, but um, no, apparently it's literally right by the entrance. I'm guessing K entrance is one of the places where people would walk in. This van's coming along. This little tally handler's doing whatever it's doing. So wait a Mr. Van. Lots of work going on. K gate in here. Nice and tight, just how we like it. Apparently the forklift isn't here yet either, so. So, we're here. Forklift driver's on his way round, and then we'll be uh, getting unloaded. Uh, yeah, not allowed to go inside and film because they're having building work done, and yeah, not allowed to film inside, unfortunately, but it would have been nice to go into the stadium and see what all the fuss is about. But yeah, we're on the K side, L, loading through the K gate. So yeah, anybody that's been here before knows the stadium, they'll know exactly where I am. But yeah, it's quite a big building really, isn't it? Forklift's here now, just being unloaded as you can see. Got about a quarter of it done so far, so I'll move the curtains down for him in just a minute. <laughs> and um, yeah, get the other side done afterwards. From here, I think I'm going to Liverpool, but I need to find out exactly where it is that I'm picking up from. All right, unloaded. Now I've got to go back round to security, hand in my pass. But yeah, all done. Thank you very much to the forklift driver, Mark, for letting me uh, film him unloading, because. It's not often I get to do that sort of thing, so thank you very much, buddy. Much appreciate that. And um, yeah, for me now it's towards Liverpool. Got just under an hour's driving to do to get there. Over all these speed bumps. I'm assuming I'm all right going this way. It's all right. The vehicle's going this way. A little bit right, but um. Yeah, people in the middle of the road don't want to run them over. Lots of work being done here. I can't even tell you when the football season starts. Can't be long though, can it? Let's go back over to security and then get to Liverpool. <laughs> to my collection and I need to go to a different warehouse. He's told me to come up here and turn around up here. So hopefully there's enough space next to that shunter driver to um to get round. If not then he'll have to move won't he? Yeah I ain't making it round that. Maybe I will. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Hopefully, almost close. 
Yeah, no, I'm not making that. Not making that, let's go back. That's a little bit annoying. Didn't think I was gonna make it. Hey ho, let's go see how long he's going to be. He's going to scooch over for me. It's very nice of him. I only need probably another six inches of space. Why he didn't park further over in the first place, I don't know. But hey ho, it is what it is. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for moving. And I'll take over, the, take those bollards out. If those bollards weren't there, I'd have got round no problem. They very nearly weren't there, to be fair. Anyway, right. So I've got to go back down towards security. And what I'm picking up is in there. I'm going to guess they want me in those lines, so let's spin around here. Looks like I'm picking up pallets of paper. I just got to wait for the forklift drivers to get here. Just left the collection. I've been loaded with 37 pallets of packs of paper. And uh, that's to go to somewhere in Andover for half past seven tomorrow morning. We managed to get a 45 minute break in whilst waiting to be loaded. But annoyingly, I'm not going to make it back to the yard without having another 45 minute break. So yeah, by the time I've had that 45 minute break, maybe hit a bit of traffic because let's face it got to get past Birmingham then yeah I'm not going to be getting home till half past seven quarter to eight ish if I'm lucky so see what happens to whether I stop on the way down just outside Andover and run in the last little bit in the morning just after like I say see how badly I get delayed with the traffic <laughs> From the usual traffic at the usual places coming back down towards the yard uh, yeah very uneventful journey back just about to turn into our yard if uh, these cars get out of the way but yeah I'm going to end the video here because I'm gonna be going home in a minute once I've uh, parked the truck up and um, yeah, spend the night in my own bed. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.